Wormen FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 2-0 defeat to Maidstone in the FA Trophy. Adam, your thoughts on that game? Um, yeah, firstly, you never like losing a game, um, obviously, but uh, just thought the, the spirit and the, the manner the, the lads played, I thought was excellent. Um, you know, very unfortunate first goal that we conceded. Um, and then, yeah, we had, had a good chance, Josh had a good chance, and you're just hoping that when you get those opportunities, you can take them. Uh, it just wasn't to be on the night, but, you know, really, really proud of, proud of the performance um, that the lads have, have, have displayed tonight. It was a late goal, and it probably flatters Mason a little bit, that scoreline, because there's plenty of chances for the boys uh, to win this one as well. Do you feel like it could have been a different if it was a different day for us to play this game? It was a bit tricky with the journey on Tuesday night. Um, Potentially, but um, you know, can't look at that. Can't control that. Um, what can we control? We've we've come to a team a league above us. We played our football. Um, we caused them a few problems, um, and you know, played played with real good spirit. And uh, that's the one thing I was after um, from the lads, and they've delivered everything that we wanted. Uh, on another night, you play as well as that, and, and you win two 0 So it just wasn't to be for us tonight, but. Um, Lots of uh, pleasing aspects in the game. You know, I thought an 18-year-old left back um, was superb today. I thought Tati was excellent. Um, Danny Barker coming back, Lewis White coming back. Um, so yeah, it's really pleasing to have have them boys back. And you know, it was some really good pleasing performances today. Mention those those names there: Tati, Barker, White. They're all players who've been missing. Tati out for for two months now with a concussion, which has obviously been quite a scary one for everyone because it's, it's quite unusual. Yeah. Um, how great is it to have all those boys back? And you know, it's, it's a more full squad again now. That is, yeah. And uh, I think like just the, the balance that having you know two left-footed players at the back there gives us. Um, but you know, I thought the bravery the boys showed to, to play um, you know, was first class. Wanted them to enjoy it and, and, and enjoy playing at a venue like this. And um, I, I thought, you know, I, I couldn't fault them at all. Um, I thought every single one of them worked, worked their socks off, really give a good shift. And uh, like I say, just a bit unfortunate. I think. Um, yeah, we had probably a 3v2 and Josh has hit straight at the keeper. The keeper's made an alright save. Then we've hit the bar second half and um, for the second goal even maybe Jav brings it down. I think for their first goal, was, as lucky as it was, I think on another day Harrison just catches the first one. Um, so there's stuff for us to learn still. And But I honestly believe if we stick to how we play um, with that spirit and that um, conviction, bravery to, to play how we do, then you know it's service in good stead moving forward. And talk about it being a brave performance as well. It's a team in the league above, uh, a more professional outfit obviously than us, and coming off what well, has been a pretty difficult couple of weeks for us as well with the postponements and some of the results. It, it has to be so inspiring for the boys to go into the Christmas break with that kind of performance. Yeah, exactly that. Um, you could have just done my team talk exactly what I just relate to the, to the players there you know it's all right coming here and doing it we've got to do it now um, three games next week um, obviously we want to enjoy Christmas um, at, the, at the same time you know we've got three big games for us to, to really push on and so like I say if we, if we stick to that performance level um, you know I think that will, will serve us well and we'll be a tough team to play against um, you know I think we've proved that if we play upper league if we play like that, we'll be a tough team to play against. So, yeah, the confidence and the belief hopefully should be there. Um, at the same time, you know, we have lost 2-0 and, you know, we don't like losing games. There's a few on the bounce now and we, we need to turn it around.